Hello, 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 and welcome into the Hourglass. Welcome if you're new. Happy birthday to the Capricorns in the house. Here in the Hourglass, we celebrate the New Year in March, springtime. So if you did celebrate the New Year's uh, January 1st, uh, blessings to you and moving forward in that timeline. But we have a different timeline here under our glass so let's see what's going on i'm trying to tap into your love situation right now so think about your special person take those deep breaths in inhale the good and exhale the bullshit right <laughs> let's tap into your person so i'm gonna speak more about them than about you but this could be shared energy shared thoughts shared feelings this could also be mirroring effects here as well so if you feel like i'm talking mostly about you than them then you may have the strongest energy pull right now at this moment so let's see what's going on with your person i'm trying to get like one card out of this deck what is going on with my viewers person we have expansion overall energy we have reality this is the second time this card comes out so a lot of you guys is loved ones they're changing their reality something about karmic or karmic loops is being expired and released and that may take some time they may also have some grieving so your person may feel like a wounded person a creature an animal right now they're limping i'm seeing somebody on a crutch or a wheelchair or they're dragging themselves they're pull i'm also seeing somebody pulling themselves out of a dark hole they want to expand. I'm also getting that this reality is not doing it for them. So if they had um, or they created a certain reality with you, they want to expand out of that or up a level from that. Let's get some more cards and I'll go deeper into it. I don't want to jump the gun here. They're into expansion. Their reality is not or the reality of what's going on between the both of you. It's not suffice anymore. It's not satisfying wow you deserve love okay healing family issues all right so some of you you may have heard uh this scenario before you heard this scenario before this person is going through a lot of uh breaking ancestral karma i feel like they are expanding in ancestral wisdom as well they have been activated you may have been the catalyst that open this person up to the love that they were accepting from their family i feel like their family had a way of giving love so you had to do something or you had to be something to receive love and appreciation this is what this person uh grows on throat chakra so they want to have a heart to heart conversation their throat chakra may be opening right now or it's tingling or they get choked up when it's time to like come at you you guys do you like my meme card it flipped out of my deck of memes right that could be your person's energy i don't know it came out so i put it there anyway your person is learning something hey about how to respond to you i feel like they're listening to you or they listen to you when you were speaking on something here about their reality they feel alive and blessed when they talk to you or when you guys are interacting in a love frequency the thing is we have a big elephant there's an elephant in the room and this person desperately wants to talk about this reality i'm hearing emotional realities hey you guys are very different when it comes to your love um language hey you fill their heart with happiness i feel like their eyes are on you they're watching you somehow or they're not letting you out of their sight i feel like they want to stand behind you i'm seeing like that lion behind the lioness it doesn't matter what's in front of her it matters who's behind of her right so something that they have to process mentally i feel like the last remaining hours of the day they kind of meditate on what they're gonna tell you they want to they want to um hold your attention they want you to concentrate on them more they're observing a lot of you guys is changing and because you're changing you're causing them to reflect on a lot of family conditionings hey they're thinking out loud or they want to think out loud some of you this person was not generous they were not generous hey and it's because they needed to forgive how their mother uh dealt with them i feel like their mother could have pushed them away or they felt like their mother 
I feel like the first matriarchal energy kind of put a dark cloud over how they accept and give love, hey? Two souls reflecting one light is what I heard really loud and clear. There are contradictions, hey, with this person. They're trying to figure out if you guys belong together or you guys are too different. They need some fresh air. I'm feeling like this person ran to get some fresh air. There was something here that they just couldn't get. You are a loving person. Don't ever mistake that. You're a very loving person, but they may not be. I'm getting that you're a loving person. You try to love this person, but whatever they were taught, you triggered some sort of, um, so the love you try to give triggered a protection mechanism within this person and they want to talk about it. It's like a lump in my throat. And I feel like when they get ready to talk to you about it, or they know that they can't do this over texting or phone, they want to see you face to face. But I feel like they have a fear that they may cry or the emotions may be too overwhelming that they may have an emotional breakdown here. Something about elite or supreme energy. I don't know if this is how they prize themselves here, but you may be very smart. You're sharp. You're, you're sharp. You're very knowledgeable. Maybe you're into writing or some sort of creative art. Or they're looking for a creative outlet here to express it. Music, poetry, um, certain links or podcasts that speak what they can't say. They may be posting it. The reality is both of you may be on a spiritual journey. Two different personal spiritual journeys to your own spiritual truth and i feel like that's what's wedging you apart there were false uh conditioning hey and i feel like your person is angry at the people in their life or in their family because of it it caused emotional issues uh in this emotional reality that they have with you and i feel like they're struggling to kind of exit or expand from what they were taught so they know that they need to do things differently but they're unable to connect with actually being creative hey it's like they can't move beyond what is dead they know whatever they're doing is dead it, it can't go no more i'm also feeling like this person experienced a lot of fighting and bickering so they may associate pain with love and that couldn't go with you They remember things that you don't, you're not aware of. This person has a good memory and I feel like they're not opening up about certain things that you said or did with them that really impact their life. They want love. They feel like this is their truth. Your beauty is the truth or they have a clay they, something is clear here, crystal clear, but they're unable to move past this ancestral conditioning and it makes them kind of emotional to face it. They know, okay, ignorance. So they know that this is very ignorant, but they can't seem to move past it. So what, what are they doing? They feel like somebody else is going to be able to love you better. They lack self-discipline and mental mastery and they're trying to find their own way hey i feel like the world around them in the past kind of shaped this person a lot wow i feel like they saw their father like going off on their mother or their mother had a lot of stories to tell them about their father and maybe they look like their dad or they look like their mom and it's often taken out on them. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's bust down this tower and see what's going on with your person. So what do they want to talk about? Let's see what they want to talk about really quick. Hey, what does this person, my viewers person wants to talk to them about? They want to know how they could work something out. 
I don't want to screw around. You're incredible in bed. So I'm getting that some of you, this person may use sex to kind of release a lot. Some of you could be dealing with a sex addict where they have a deep desire to be loved by you and love you, but then they kind of like creep away or they sneak away to have sex because um, it, it's some sort of emotional addiction that they have but you may be the best in bed so even though they have this sex addiction it's like they're constantly looking for that high that you may have possibly give them that time when you guys had that that cosmic i mean it was like some sort of cosmic sex you're just it and i feel like they were not as generous as you were in the bed and i feel like they want to talk about stuff like that they may want to have like this sexual banter with you but it's like you do deserve love and respect too. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they're getting serious. This lump in their throat. Mm -mm. They need to speak to you about it. I was raised to manipulate than love. I'm going to take that. I want, I want to take what is mine and enjoy it madly in love with you i think that the madly in love with you is a fucking secret yeah i think they are madly in love with you but the way how they were taught to show love it's very very destructive hey and they know it you don't deserve that treatment they cause a lot of emotional disturbance and tension because they were trying to hold back what they were taught so i feel like this person was really gentle to you more than they have been with other people so i don't know some of you may not want to believe that like you feel like this person did a major injustice with you or they took advantage of your heart but for some of you this person actually was really gentle towards you that's possibly why they kind of pull back or held back a lot I don't know. It's, it feels very insensitive to say, but I feel like they really were gentle with you out of everybody. So they were raised to manipulate that love and they know that this is not healthy. The reality is that they know it's not healthy and you do deserve love, but maybe they're not capable. Maybe they're going to mess up. Maybe they can't change. I feel like they hear it in your voice or when they're they're interacting with you. They know that they can't pull this fucking manipulative shit on you. I want to take what is mine and enjoy it. So they may feel like you guys belong to each other. And they really want to do right by you. They want to engage in this powerful love that's hair. But they're afraid that they're going to mess it up because of their family's condition. And so this family situation has a big tie on your person. So they want to talk about sex, right? They want to talk about making love. They want to talk about loving you. For some of you, this person feels like they're already supposed to know how to love you, but they really don't. And they want to talk to you more to get that out of you. Some of you, if this person has been ignoring your texts or not following through, it's like they're waiting for you to wake up. Shit. This is, this is, this is twisting this... This is twisting the both of you out of shape because it's like they want to love you. They do love you. They feel the love you have for them, but they just don't feel like they're capable of giving you the love that you deserve. They want to talk to you. They want to keep talking to you until they could figure out how to do this. So it's like they don't want to come to you and be like, hey, show me how to love you. They want to just pick up on it naturally. I look at elephants as the animal representation of Libra family because elephants is a lot. It's a lot about family. All right. Elephants is very protective. They're very gentle. Very, very helpful as well. They understand their strength and they try to use it in the most lovable way. We have the six of pentacles. This is one sided and your person knows it. They know that it's like you may have a lot of love to, to love both of y'all, but they don't want to do that. This person is more given to their family. Money and love is very um, twist up hair. The reality is it's very one sided and you may have been waiting too long for this person to kind of show you uh, that they want to level up hair with you. They want to negotiate something. The two of pentacles. Your person is a juggler. 
All right. A lot of you know the two of pentacles vibe. Your person is juggling this family situation. And um, I feel like they get overwhelmed hey, by this love. You, some of you, you overextended yourself to this person and they feel really awkward about that. And again, it's the love that they never had in this home. This person is actually in a financial mess with family members. Hey, this could also be extended family. Co-parenting. Hey, as well. I feel like some sort of co-parenting is a reflection of their mother and father as well. So they're actually walking in their father or their mother's footstep. Hey. Okay. So I'm getting that their mother may have overextended too much for the dad. And they were living under this matriarchal ruling. And now they feel like women and flip flop it, flip flop. Okay, so I'm hearing ancestral gender roles flipped. Hmm. So this person, if this is a guy, he may be more feminine where he's ready to receive and ready for their emotions to be dealt with. And you may be a masculina where you may be a woman, but you're masculine. You're always the one to take this person by their hand and pull them this way and pull them that way. You take action. You're very decisive about what you want with them. And this makes it awkward because the gender rules has switched. Hey, I am not a terror reader that's going to just be on the surface level. Some of you, that's all you could take right now is that surface level crap. But I'm not that terror reader. So if this is not fitting for you, if it's too much to digest, it's triggering. Feel no ways to move around. Nothing personal. You know what I'm saying? But for those of you that really wants to get in depth, hey, stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? We have 11, 11. We have 9 plus 2 is 11. And we have 4 plus 7 is 11, right? So we have 11, 11. Now, some of you may be going crazy. Yeah, that's the twin flame um, code right here. But for some of you, this is a code that the both of you are a big lesson, a catalyst of breaking out family tra uh, traditions and conditioning. The both of you do this for each other. This is why it feels very imbalanced at times. And the only I feel like for some of you, the only time you could achieve balance, because this is very balanced card, six and two or two and six, is by you giving or overextending yourself to this person. But it does not last long. This person is does a lot of poor, um, they have poor finances, hey. They may overgive to people for them for them to feel love or for these people to love them. This is what they were trained by their family. They're starting to take a very realistic look at the shit of what they're doing. I'm also hearing that they're questioning why did they have you in limbo here with the six of pentacles. I'm also getting that they should they're, they're like telling themselves, damn, I shouldn't have given to this person. But that person reflect what they have been seeing in their family for generations. We have the four of ones and the knight of pentacles. There goes your 11, 11 again portal. So I feel like your person wants to do life with you. They're taking a realistic approach on this connection. Some of you just this person is getting fucking serious. Some of you, this person wants to talk talk to you about moving in with you or you moving in with them. They're taking a very methodical, cautious approach to this. This is a lifeless person with the nine of pentacles, four of wands. I feel like they come alive when there's a lot of praise. When people celebrate them, forgive him. This may be something that was manipulative. People in their home manipulate fake love, fake praises to get coins. Your person is seeing that for what it is. It's a delicate, delicate balance between you and this person. And they know it because they're constantly fighting against what they were taught. I feel like this person does not have a plan for the future they don't know where this is going this is why they want to talk to you more but i feel like they get awkward because you're touching on things that they were not taught they don't even know what the fuck because of their family i feel like their family tends to embarrass them too your this person's family is very much included in you guys's connection bond or relationship 
I'm seeing four walls, a square. This person is planted or they're remote or they are continuously involving themselves in a lot of family traditions. Hey, maybe they celebrated a birthday or they're going to celebrate an anniversary hey, of some kind. Let's talk about, hold on. Let's talk about the Knight of Pentacles because I feel like this is this person's attitude towards you for a long time. And I'm looking in my tarot notes. I'm a scribe. I scribe a lot. Okay, so I'm also getting that this person, because of their family ties here with the Four of Wands and fa healing family issues, this person's free will does not exist. They don't have free will or they don't exercise it. They don't demonstrate it. They rely on what they were taught and they were taught to manipulate that love. They have a lot of uncertainties here. At times, I feel like the only money that they make is tied into family. They may be kind of leaning too much on family money here. I also feel like they're bored of assuming what you want. They're very bored of that. I'm also getting that they want to be more generous, but... It's like a fantasy. Maybe they think about it in their mind, giving to you and how you would react or how they would feel if they give to you more. But it's fantasy because with the Knight of Pentacles, what? What? Some of you are waiting too long for this person to shift out of this reality. Some of you, this person is too cheap to risk anything on this love because something is tied here with family. I'm also getting that they're pro they're preparing or providing a harvest hair. They think long term with you, but I don't feel like this person is reliable or committed. I'm hearing no rest for the wicked. This person is very stubborn. They exhaust pretty quickly and it's because of what they were taught. They're constantly trying to give in to this uh, conditioning and they're constantly trying to make things balance with you, but they get exhausted pretty quickly. This person may not have enough time, resources, energy, and love to give to this situation and they don't know how to tell you that. They just keep you waiting. And I feel like the more that you wait, it kind of makes this person feel a sense of relief or balance when you wait on them. Uh, I'm going to tell you straight up, this person may know what kind of caliber connection or bond this is, but they are definitely slow to give in to love. That's what I'm going to say. You could draw your own conclusions there. I'm not, I'm not the type of reader going to tell you, well, X, Y, and Z. You got to figure that shit out by what I'm telling you. All right. So they wasted money here with something, a family investment. Or they have wasted money in previous relationships thinking that they could have built a family. Hey? They have too many exes or they have one or two exes that's still harboring around the home or still too close to home. For some of you, you need to stick with a schedule, stick with your own schedule and get your own work done in your own reality until this person has proven to you that they're ready uh, to be realistic and expand with you. This person rather their alone time than to get emotional with you. This is why they have you waiting. Seven of Swords. So we have fixed energy. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Aries. We have Taurus with Aries. Very, very strong. It's all about family for this person. Mm, I feel like at times they want to try with you and at times they just relapse back into this condition and this manipulation conditioning because they don't know what else to do and talking to you or getting to know you is the best way to find out what to do here. But again, they have you waiting. They lack balance. Others of you, they may want you to give them a handout or they want to be a charity case. Very stingy. They like power, selfishness, stubbornness, determined domination. Some of you, I don't think you're going to see a return of the love that you gave them. So 
you know, you may love this person uh, a certain way. I, I am suggesting, this is just my tidbit, that you don't expect them to give you the same love in return. They may have told you this in so many words as well. I feel like there's strings attached here or they want strings attached. I'm also hearing that they like to cheat a little bit or they cheat a little bit. They lie a little bit to get what they want. Okay, you may have a lazy lover and expecting you to kind of pull most of the weight. But that's what's exhausting. This is what's tripping you up. And some of you know it. Some of you also feel like with the seven of swords and the heart to heart, this person may tell little white lies to save their butt. They don't want you to pull away the love from them. But they put you on the back burner a lot for their own um, satisfaction and pleasure. Some of you, this person willfully spends a lot of time out of the unit, out of the home or working a lot. But they're still getting them. It's like the more that they work, the more that they save or the more that they see money coming through, the more that they put put that money into risky investments and it leaves them in balance with their feelings, with their attitude, their behavior. So it's like maybe you give this person a lot of leniency and you carry most of the relationship weight or the finances. But you're giving this person the opportunity to invest in hobbies, in other different things. But it's like you may have given this person the space to be responsible and they don't. They act out of selfishness and invest their money in like dumb shit. So it's like, oh yeah, honey, don't worry about the water bill. I'm going to pay the water bill from now on. Maybe you had an agreement to do that. This is just an example. You have an agreement to pay something else. And instead of them using the money or the extra resources to kind of build or improve the unit or the relationship, they go and squander it. And you're just like, wow, that's the best you could do because they're selfish. And they're very slow to involve themselves in love and acts. They rather spend time alone than to address the emotional realities here. All right. So let's get some um, black sands out here because the seven of swords could talk about infidelity. It could talk about telling little white lies. This could be someone that's talking to many different options but not telling you. They could be doing things on the side to kind of boost their own um, ego for selfish purposes, not telling you. This is possibly why they're withdrawn or they're always putting you to the back. I'm hearing cheat a little, cheat a little. That's a, like an old Vibes Cartel song when uh, he first came out and he was like, cheat back on your man. If your man cheating, cheat back on your man. <laughs> Some of you are like, Burr? yeah, so I feel like they could be responsible, but it has to be beneficial to them. Mm -mm. It's too one sided for some of you here, especially if your love is like really strong. I'm looking at my tarot notes still. I'm also hearing pretending with the seven of swords. It's a lot of pretending that could be something that was that came from the home. They don't focus too much on certain things. They feel like it's a waste of time. Oh, wow. So maybe this manipulation shit, bro. They feel like certain things is a waste of time. <laughs> All right. I feel like when you do address this person for not giving equally, the seven of swords in them come out. So they may be calling you crazy for noticing the way how they're like falling, uh, falling back or shortcomings here. I do feel like they want to get away with disappointing or they're not, like I said, with the selfishness of the nine of pentacles, they're not afraid to disappoint people. Mm, I feel like they do have the tendency to just walk away when something is not working for them. So if you bring in something up or addressing something with this person, if it's not working for them, if it's not in their benefits, they're going to just walk away with the seven of swords. They're putting their own needs and priorities first while escaping their responsibilities. Seven of swords. What's going on here? Be real. Let's get clarity. 
you guys some of you are constantly getting tarot readings on this person and you know i have to say this maybe your tarot reader is not telling you maybe they love to be of service of you or whatever but the more you pull on somebody's energy the more that you try to use tarot to clarify the more your answers are going to be distorted you can't pull on tarot like that, especially if tarot already given you the answer and you didn't like it. You want to reshuffle. You want to go to another pick a card reading. You're going to distort the answers because you're distorted. Your energy is distorted. Quit trying to fit into a world that never really fit you. Hmm. So some of you, uh, you may not be aligned with this person. And they possibly know that the, the type of life that they're living, you don't deserve that. And by keeping you waiting or by holding back a lot of meaningful conversations or informative conversations is their way of telling you that. It's like a mixed bag with this person. Some of you, this person may be using you for gifts or presence, or this could be your energy, taxing on your energy, your love, working on making my way back to you. My love will find you. So this person is going to break away from you, or they're going to slow up so hard that it's going to feel like they're not involved. They're not present. I feel like they have to, because with the Knight of Pentacles, it could talk about breaking away from your journey to do other things. Um, it's natural. A lot of us are not going to stay on the journey consistently. Some of us are going to have to break away to, to learn or to earn different credits or upgrades as well. All right. So they know that they have to break away from you or they're going to fall back or they're going to slow up really hard. Uh, but they're working on something. Hey, they could be working on being more generous. They could be working on their selfishness, but they're going to find you. They could be lurking around still on your radar in silence or in shadow. My darkness is bigger than my will to heal, self-absorbed and content. I'm, I'm not getting that this person is afraid to change. I feel like they're very content in doing them. This is a person that rather spends their time alone than to get emotional with you. Very, very stingy, one-sided person. What's going on? Some of you are going to have to wait even longer. Casual dating. So maybe this was uh, just dating for temporary or this person was just here for a fun time and you guys held on to each other longer than needed or this person just couldn't see exclusivity with you. Uh, and again, the manipulation conditioning could be fogging up this person. Maybe they're only capable of just giving you a hookup or started off as a hookup. And now, you know, it's getting very serious here with the four of wands. Some of you, this person may feel like to buy you a house or to move you in may be the best way to kind of like smooth something over. Or if you guys are living two different lives, this person may feel like it's better if you moved in together where they could be able to give you. I don't know. It's just something that flowed through my mind. Spell work. Some of you, this person did try to work a love spell on you. I don't feel like it worked. I'm also feeling with the dark magic and the seven of swords. They really try to get away with this piss poor behavior towards you guys. Uh, I feel like they demonstrated a lot of their controlling, dominating um, behavior on purpose this person may be rooted in dark magic with selfish evil people in their family uh this could also be a hex or curse uh sins of their father that's placed on them maybe this is why they feel like they don't deserve your love because there's something going on in the family that's very evil their father's sin is upon your person they may have a whiff of it or they dreamt it sometime back be your own sugar daddy so you're gonna have to be very independent be your own sugar mommy your own sugar daddy uh this person like i said very stingy they put their needs before uh yours especially emotionally so uh i'm just reading the cards ultimately the decision is up to you what what you could deal with 
I don't know how to accept love properly until I have and make money. We accept the love we think we deserve. And that goes for you too. You're accepting whatever is going on here because you think that's all you deserve. This person may be fear, uh, feeling or they have a strong knowing that one day you're going to see through all of this fuckery and you're going to go after what you deserve or you're going to make space by clearing this person out to actually receive what you deserve. This is something that they know. This is something that they could tell or see or sense within you because if they're popping up in the seven of swords and you're craving expansion and the love you deserve, but they're nowhere close to, to uh, being able to accomplish that with you, sooner or later, you're going to be the one to escape the situation rather than dealing with it head on, rather than trying to make them understand, rather than trying to show them that uh, you're a ride or die. Some of you are going to escape this person or karma uh, is going to come in and pull you guys apart because the risk or the things that you're trying to do, nah, it's a no. All right. Um, Sorry, this was not, this could just be momentarily, this could be a cycle, this could just be a karmic loop that needs to break, you know, does, that does not mean that love is not here, it does not mean, this could also be a soulmate, and we have several different soulmates that we may meet in this lifetime, we only have one life partner, or higher level soulmate, or twin flame, so I don't know, maybe this person kind of feels like, you're going to move on sooner or later or you're going to be the one to leave them. They wouldn't leave you type of vibe. All right. So um, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, for coming through. Like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. And I'm going to see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.